Uh, welcome to this episode. Um, in this episode, I'm going to sketch Castel home, and we can see here. It's just a quick little um, sketch. I uh, started off in a kind of a very monochromatic way, and then um, added some color, and this is the end result. So, if you'd like to see the um, the whole process, um, join me. Hi, I'm David, and I paint watercolors. I just love being outdoors, and I hope these videos inspire you to do the same. So um, subscribe and welcome. So um, <clears throat> I'm lucky enough to live um, by the water in Stockholm um, on Kronholmen, uh, which this is, and um, I'm able to take a ferry into ta into the centre town if I want. Um, and um, on this day, there was some very dramatic, beautiful clouds. And uh, so, yeah, so I took myself in towards... Um, my, my objective was to sketch this yeah, Castel Holman, it's called. Um, you can see here, it's just a beautiful sky. And the, um, the ferry there, uh, that's a painting in itself, um, which I might very well do at some point. Um, so anyway, Castel Holman, um, it used to be called Not Holman, um, or Lilla Beck Holman, or even um, Skelns Holman. Um, on the island, as you can see, there's a small castle, and it was built in between 1846 and uh, 1848, and the architect was Frederick Bloom. Okay, so in order to sketch Castel Holman, I, I took myself to the island of uh, Beck Holman. Um, it's a beautiful island, but it's, it's a, been a, a shipyard for centuries, and uh, you can see the dry, dry docks there. And uh, my po finger there is pointing where I'm going to be and where I'm going to look when I'm sketching, and that's over to um, Castel Holman there, like I said. So anyway, climbed up to the top of the hill here on, on top of um, the island. And um, yeah, all, all around, it's, um, it's, it's, it's very interesting, this place. It's um, a lot of history. You can see all the um, dry docks here. Here's um, Castel Homan over there, um, I'm qu quite far away, uh, especially with these uh, wide-angle lenses on, on the on my cameras. Um, but, oh yeah, there's a little <laughs> cage in the way. Um, but that's the nature of sketching. You just have to make do. Um, at this stage, the sky is pretty grey, so um, so I'm going to make it look grey. I speed up the film here. I um, hope it doesn't make you too queasy. The um, reason why I've speed it up is just you can just see here. The, uh, it's, the, it's the first wash, and uh, there's no details, it's just putting down colour. And I've decided for this monochromatic look. Um, because the day was so grey and um, and the subject was quite so far away from me, it was appearing very flat, and so I thought, okay, I'll do that. So um, yeah, I was just spraying a little bit of water onto it, let it pigments move around a bit. Um, now I've got a, <laughs> a little pen knife out. Um, it's a very small pen knife, but it does the job. And basically, what I'm doing here is um, I'm. Um, scratching the surface to create kind of reflective um, ripples and waves and things. Okay, moving on. Um, now I started adding some um, color to the, um, the painting. And basically now it's about trying to create some form, um, three-dimensional forms. Um, um, those trees are a little bit hard edged, so I'll soften them down with a bit of water. So 
So I'm going a lot darker now. Using some um, Van Dyke brown there, I think. I'll speed it up again. Um, I, it's just, um, it's not worked doing this slowly. It's, um, I think you get a better idea when I speed it up here, uh, what I'm trying to achieve. Just adding bits of color, and then uh, darkening it down. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to capture a mood more than um, a realistic image. It's, it was a gray day and um, I just wanted to kind of capture the kind of mood of the day. If it was a sunny day, it would be a totally different picture. Be like blue water, etc. <clears throat> so now I've actually started using um, a detailing brush. Um, it's actually an old brush that's only got a few hairs left on it. I'll have to buy a new one at some point. But um, so I'm just, it's kind of like treating this like um, a pen and a wash te technique um, that urban sketches use a lot. Um, but it's urban sketches. What are they? They're people who sketch um, outdoors. Um, I can put a link down below. This is almost finished now, so I'm just doing a little bit of um, detailing. So yeah, I'm putting, smudging little bits of black here and things like that. Um, I'm just messing around really, having fun. Um, this is, you know, it's a sketch and it's important just to, to experiment and test. And um, some things work, some things don't. Um, so it's, it's not my usual sketch, um, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed smudging and playing around and trying to, create something out of it. It's, um, like I said, the subject is far away, and um, yeah, I thought it was fun. Okay, well, um, if you enjoyed this episode, um, give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, cheers. So, um, yeah, long day, time to go home. Um, and here's the painting um, in the studio. I didn't do anything to it, actually. Um, it was enough, and uh, so now it's time to go. So, goodbye. 
And um, if you want to support the making of these videos, you can by going to my patrons page, which is patreon.com slash meldrumart. Thanks.